If you're a real estate agent in the process of planning for 2023, I want to give you some tips that's going to take your business to the next level. My name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader with eXp Realty Brokerage. Thank you so much for joining me on this channel. If this is your first time visiting this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit the notification bell to get updates on more content like this, and make sure you watch this video to the very end because I'm going to give you some information as to how you can get free access to all my training for free, including my KV Core course, Kurobi Social, where we have social media done for you for every single real estate agent. So keep watching this video. First, I want to start off by mentioning that this is one aspect of what some of the things you want to integrate into your business planning for this year and always. So this is something that I do every couple of months because this allows you to kind of look at your business on a really deeper level and get to understand you and your brand. And what I want to talk to you about is a, a situational analysis or they call it, you know, situational assessment. It's called SWOT analysis. This is a very key aspect of what a lot of major brands do this in their business planning, in their marketing plans. And I want to bring this to your forefront, to your attention, because as a business owner, as a realtor, because a lot of small brands are now doing this as well. And I think this is going to really take your business to the next level and help you understand your brand. I do this teachings with all my agents and I truly believe, and I want to walk this exercise with you because I truly believe this can really give you a better understanding of where your business can go, what's lacking and what's holding you back from really finding and creating the momentum and maintaining momentum. So a SWOT analysis is an acronym. So S-W-O-T is an acronym for strength weakness, opportunities, and threat. And what's really unique about this that a lot of people don't talk about is that strength and weakness is an internal look at your brand. And O and T, opportunities and threat, is an external look at your brand. So what are some external factors that affect your brand? And the reason why you want to understand strength is because it gives you competitive advantage and gives you an edge in understanding who you are, what are you good at. And this is so important because it helps you identify what you already have. Because I have a lot of agents who go and purchase these things that, you know, lead generation company, Google ads, Facebook ads, but all of that is available for you in our groups. You know, people go and buy social media training when we have the top social media training for free available in our group. You don't have to go and get your KV course set up. You get that for free in our group. So it is really important that through this exercise, you're able to identify some of your weaknesses, things that you need to improve on. Because the moment you identify some of your weakness, you're going to now look at where you fall short, where some of your setbacks are, and what you need to do in order to take advantage of what you're good at and what is available in your environment, your brokerage, your coworkers, and, and the trainings that you have accessible in order to really improve on those weaknesses so that you don't fall short. And the second thing that I want to talk about, the third thing I want to talk about is opportunities. And the reason why you want to really make a list of some of the opportunities that are in your space is because the moment you discover opportunities, it gives you some space for growth. And you also become aware of you know, the things that are available to you that are in your that are in your market, that's in your industry, that's in your brokerage that is available to you to in order to grow your business. A lot of people don't look at it that way. And um, that's another reason why people are taking advantage of what is literally in their front yard and what in, literally in front of them. And that's what boggles my mind is some of my own agents. You know, we have these conversations all the time about, you know, this is why what didn't work for them or if this is what they could have done. And the crazy part is that I look at, you know, I believe in them before they believe in themselves and because they have all these immense opportunities in front of them and they're just not aware. And this is why it's so important that you become aware of your surrounding, the environment, the opportunities you have in front of you, the mentors, the coaches, the things that you have available to. And the thing, surprising part is that the tools that you probably even have access to are probably free, but you just never looked into it. So the other thing that I wanted to mention is threats and why you want to manage your threats and understand them is so that any kind of entrepreneurial risks that come up, you can not only plan for it, but these are external factors because the moment you identify your core strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threat, it's going to lead to facts-based analysis. It's going to allow you to kind of stay away from making those opinions. And trust me, I've been there. I've had conversations with some of my agents who, you know, had, a, you know, in a hot market in February at the beginning of the year, they got some of their, you know, some of their offers 
not accepted or rejected and they think it's a brokerage fault and no it's just the market and maybe you need to present a offer that is more enticing for the other party given our market given the property so this is why it's so important instead of looking at all the things that aren't working for you look at all the things that could go right and improve on the things that need improvements and the weaknesses where that you could pay attention to and it's going to make a lot of sense because i'm going to give you some ideas and opportunities of some of the assessment i've done with my husband at our brand and it's going to help you allow you to do the same for your brand. And the reason why you want to do this is because it's going to give you fresh ideas and perspective of looking at your brand and what you could do and and how you can grow and scale your business. Because maybe you might not always want to just do deals for the rest of your life. You might want to plan for retirement. You want to plan to, you know, purchase investment properties or create residual passive income, maybe build your own team and take advantage of the opportunity that is available in your market and in in your industry. And this is a great technique that is going to allow you to create strategies for your business and also ultimately just keep you motivated. So you're probably wondering, so how do I do this? So for strength, some of the questions you want to ask yourself are, what is my competitive advantage? What am I good at? You know, what resources do I currently have and what am I doing well? And make a list of those. And I'll touch on some of the things that Josh and I have done in this in this area. For example, you know, my husband and I were calculated risk takers. We invest in real estate, but we do a lot of research. We're hardworking. Um, you know, as you know, when we started in this industry, I first got my license when I was on my mat leave. I worked in corporate. I had my corporate full time job working for the government full time, had newborn, a young toddler. At the same time, I started my business. I launched my business while managing multiple prior uh, properties, investment properties at the same time managing a portfolio and also at the same time Josh and I always had full-time and part-time jobs so it's really important that you you know that's something that we're we're super resilient and we have a strong worth ethic and we're great communicators we're really clear and concise about what we want to say and we're also passionate and we're capable of inspiring other people to work I have over 40 agents around the world that are partnered with me and we're we're able to inspire them to work towards their own dreams and I have mastermind calls on a weekly basis I put together you know various different programs and courses and even a social media content platform all for free just for our agents so that they could thrive and build on some of the strengths that I'm already good at. So, and the other thing is we're very goal oriented and driven people. We're all about setting goals. If you know me, every Monday I write down what my weekly goals are, my monthly goals are, my six months goal, my yearly goals, three year goal, five year goals, and 10 year goal. Because if you don't know where you're going, then you'll never truly get there. And our marketing experience, both Josh and I both come from a traditional, you know, we learned how to do, we both have degrees in marketing. And we worked in marketing and this is where some of our strategies and principles come from. And that's why a lot of the stuff that you see online is super polished, high quality. And we take that and we share that with agents in our group and we are able to help other people in the process. And we have a strong understanding of our brokerage, our brokerage model. Hence, we're able to share that with other people to help change their life and their business. We also have strong social network of friends and family that we're able to dip into. And we're also connected to the number one group at my brokerage, Agent Wolfpack, that's led by Mike Sherrard and Connor Steinbrook. These are the number one guys at our company worldwide in terms of people that they've personally sponsored and brought to the company, but they also have the most producing agents. So it gives me a leading edge at some of the opportunities that are available for us at our brokerage, which I'll get into in a second. And also just team, we now I have ability to partner with my agents. I can assign clients. Josh and I don't take on any lease clients as we're able to delegate tasks to my agents. So when I talked about it in that time management video, Video that I recommend that you watch is about how to really plan and schedule your time out and find efficiencies. And one of the ways that we do that is by delegating tasks, assigning tasks that are going to hold us back and take too much of our time because time is the most valuable asset and you don't get that back when you spent. And Josh and I are well educated. We have that education. So that's one of our strengths. We do well in that. We're also knowledgeable about the real estate market. We have a strong understanding of real estate investing. So you see now, once I look at all the things that I'm good at now, and that's an internal look at our brand. So now I can look at the things that I need to improve on. Okay, let's look at that. So one of the things is that we are both, we're limited because I, we had other jobs. We have other priorities. We have family pressures. We have really young children right now. They're two and three year olds. And we have, you know, trouble staying focused sometime and being distracted, especially when they're sick. All of our attention goes to our children because they're at home. We don't have any help. So we need to, because we 
you know, lack resources on that level. So now I know what I'm missing and what we need to work on. So I need to budget and prioritize and plan for that. Does that make sense? And also, because we are hard workers, we tend to overwork. And sometimes our non-negotiable time gets compromised because of family pressures. And sometimes that becomes also a bad time management issues as well, even though we're really good with blocking times to do work, but sometimes that bleeds into our family time. So these are a couple of things that we've identified that we need to work on, hence, why now we can really work on making sure we have the right tools, the right resources to eliminate these weaknesses so that we can move towards our goals. And the other thing you want to look at too is that when you're looking at weaknesses, you know, answer some of these questions. Where can I improve? Where are we underperforming? Where are we lacking resources? And when you're looking at opportunities, remember, these are all internal. Now, when you look at opportunities and threats, these are external factors in your market, in your industry that are available to you. In terms of opportunities, some questions you want to ask yourself is, what technologies can we use to improve our operation? Can we expand on our core operation? Can I do something different than, you know, just selling properties until I expire? You want to retire. You want to enjoy your life now and later. So do you have, you know, passive residual income in place? Do you have multiple streams of income? Are you part of, are you in the right vehicle to take you to your goal and closer to your goal? And what new market segment can you explore? So if you're focused always on first time home buyer, maybe you want to switch into investors potentially or or grow with your market and, and the area and the industry that you're in. So for example, some of the opportunities that Josh and I were able to uncover is that just our company, our EXP market share is amazing. Our, we're part of a virtual cloud-based brokerage. We're in 23 countries. So I'm able to really build my revenue share and also at the same time, my referral business on a next level. So let's say if I, by putting out YouTube videos, I have someone from India that messages me about buying a property somewhere in Texas, I can actually put them in, uh, in touch with an agent in Texas and still make a referral in the process. And I can also build teams in all these countries because of the market share of our brokerage on a global scale. And also, I'm also the co-founder of a marketing and digital marketing agency for real estate professionals, which allows me to work and help build other agents' businesses. And again, another opportunity is because I'm connected to the number one group at, at our company. It allows me to do partnership, allows me to do events with some of the top people at our company and leaders and to learn from them as well. And because we're part of eXp Realty, we're we're a technology driven, you know, we have access to leading edge technology. I can do and use KV Core and tools like that to help really build on my business and 10x my business. And again, just that cloud cloud based brokerage environment allows me to work anywhere, it allows me to travel anywhere, know, know that I'm not restricted to staying in my city or country for the long term. And also the multiple language aspect, right? The fact that there are so many different people that speak different languages. We know, I know uh, another language, so I can use that to really help me build my business. And also another opportunity is the location. I'm in Toronto. I'm in one of the most metropolitan cities, one of the best top cities in the world where I'm connected to so many people and so many opportunities here. So that's a great opportunity for me as well. And that's what you want to look at is the area that you're in, the environment and what you have access to through your brokerages and the environment or in terms of just the industry itself. And now let's look at threats and and factors that affect on an external level. Again, these are external that affects your brand. You want to look at uncertainty in the market, economical, any changes from that perspective that could affect your business and COVID regulations, right? What if COVID comes back around? It shut a lot of people's business. You weren't able to hold open houses. Some people couldn't even do business altogether. And even changing technology, right? Every time there's something changes with Facebook or something, there's something that you need to relearn again. It might put a hinder <clears throat> on your business. How do you plan for that? And even just legislations, right? Any, um, especially for Josh and I, <clears throat> we're real estate investors. <clears throat> Sometimes when things within the real estate investing 
area changes, if there's a regulation change within the Tenancy Act or something like that, or rent controls, all of that affects us. So we need to learn that. We need to be aware of that. And even just consumer needs, right? A lot of time, some of my agents tell me, oh, this deal broke through and they feel super sad about it, but they, but you need to truly understand that it had nothing to do with you. It's just a consumer need change of your buyer just changed, you know, their needs of what they want in a property, but it had nothing to do with you or your brokerage, if that makes sense. And understanding competitions in your area, right? I'm in one of the more busy area of 65, 70,000 agents in our area alone. So it's high competition. So a lot of what I do in a very small area, Area, in a very less populated area, it can go far, but we need to do a lot more work. We need to, there's a lot more keywords and searches that are happening in our area. So how do I stand out? And how do Josh and I and our brand stand out? So you need to understand the threats externally that is available, but you don't let that hold you back, but you plan accordingly and you're aware of it. And that's the most important thing when it comes to planning. And the other last thing I wanted to mention too, is just the number of agents in your market too, right? And this can work both ways, right? You now have access to all these people to potentially Essentially for us, we could partner with, grow together, work together, because we always look at the good side of everything. But at the same time, this is also a threat because now there's more work that you need to do and again that competition that you want to keep an eye on. But again, the reason why I'm mentioning all of this is because the more you become aware and you identify core strength, weaknesses, and even opportunities and threats that you have available that are that exist externally for your business, you can allow and plan for the better. I hope this was helpful for you. I really, I know there was a lot of information I shared with you there, but this is one key aspect of doing a situational assessment of where you are in your business, where you want to go. And this is a very strategic planning that is important in every business plan. And I encourage you and I recommend that you integrate this into your plan and you do this really on a quarterly or even a biannual basis. And if you've gotten this far into the video, thank you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed it and hit the notification bell so you can get updates on more content like this. And because you've gotten this far to the end, make sure you check out the link in the description below about what you get when you partner with us. We have one of the best value stack in the industry industry and at our company and make sure you check that out you get everything for free and you get access to all of our training for free everything from modern marketing training to social media training one of the top social media trainings in the world you even have access to if your social media agent struggling with social media we have a content social media content platform specifically made for real estate agents where we create social media posts for you on a daily basis and these aren't just template these are strategy based content to grow your business as well as of course the kv core trainings that you get when you join my group because where I take all the technical aspect of KV Core and we take it to the next level. So if you want to know what that's like and to partner with us and to join my group, and remember we can partner with agents who are in 23 countries. So if you're watching this from Australia or from the UK, I can work with you. I can help you grow your business at the same time while you're getting local support. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Let's work together. Let's stay connected. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Tamila Rajasingham. I'm a real estate marketer, real estate agent, and a global team leader. I will see you next time.